Hi lovelies, this is Cherie from Divine Visions with your pick a card reading um, for your twin flame or soulmate uh, connection. And this is going to be messages from your spirit guides or angels, ascended masters. It's, it's basically from the higher powers, what it is that they want you to know today. Um, so what we've got is, so I've actually got four crystals on each one. And the top two are reading one, reading two, and the bottom two are reading three or reading four. We've got the Rose Quartz on reading one, the Clear Quartz Crystal on reading two, Blue Chalcedony on reading three, or we've got the Amethyst on reading four. So I'll just let you take a moment to focus on the cards and you may choose more than one if you wish to. Okay, guys, if you chose reading one, which was the Rose Quartz Crystal, we're going to have a look at what messages from the higher powers, um, your spirit guides, angels, or even deceased loved ones may come through today for you regarding your twin flame or soulmate connection. So let's have a look at the good tarot card first of all. Now we've got the High Priestess, which is all about intuition. It's about tuning into the higher realms, um, the crown chakra, being able to open up to the spirit realm and basically receive the messages either from your soulmate or twin flame telepathically um, that could be something you're experiencing right now anyway um, quite strongly um, it's also your spirit guides wanting to come in so meditation would be really helpful for you guys at this stage being able to tune into your spirit guides your deceased loved ones your you know um, even your animal guides at this stage they all can assist with the twin flame or soulmate journey anyway and it's just about having that clarity and peace of mind as well because a lot of you might have been having a lot of confusion. Um, there might be some questions that need answering um, regarding what to do next in your connection. Um, so let's have a look at the next card, which is the good, uh, sorry, Psychic Tarot for the Heart card. And it's all about awakening. So this is the Judgment card. And it's looking at the past. So some of you might be over, you know, going over and over in your minds about what has transpired in the past between you and your um, soulmate or twin flame. And we're looking at an awakening, a rebirth, a, a new energy coming through. And it can be that there's rewards coming through as well. There's lessons that have been learned regarding um, a connection that you had with somebody. I do sense some sadness with some of you as well. Um, where there has been some regret, perhaps there's been a wishing that, you know, time could, you know, you, know, you could go back in time and change some things. Um, but unfortunately, this is where we're at right now and we just have to deal with what, you know, we've got right now. So it's, it's basically, I hear the words, it is what it is. And so there is an acceptance here as to what has transpired. Um, being able to go within really deeply. It's, it's, it's actually a deep energy, this one. It's really, it can be intense at times, but we've got the positivity of this energy coming through a rebirth. So there is a chance for a fresh path, a new start, that kind of thing as well, whether this be with somebody new or revisiting um, the path with the twin flame or soulmate connection is entirely up to you. I feel like there is this very strong connection with them though, um, that there's just still something to to um, heal within, you know, heal within. We've got this beautiful green leaves here, which shows that there's growth in this situation, okay? So that's a really good thing as well. We've got the Nine of Pentacles, which is the Greek mythic tarot. The Nine of Pentacles, which shows a solo journey. So some of you may not even be in contact with your twin flame or your soulmate currently. Um, there might be that you've had to do this really strong on your own, your own healing journey, your healing path, having to become stronger in yourself. There's been an awakening amongst many of you and your soulmates as well are going through this, undergoing this. You probably felt a shift going on and it shows that there's rewards coming in as well. When we look at the past, it's almost like a karmic thing. So what have we done in the past? What have they done in the past to bring us to where we are now? 
are there rewards coming in or is there some kind of consequences coming in for how things progressed? Um, but it does show me there's, I feel positive about this. There's good rewards coming in and perhaps there's been some contact being made recently or there's going to be um, because it feels like there's going to be a resolution to an issue as well that wasn't sorted in the past. And I've got the um, Whispers of Love cards here as well. So this is the special message. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. I feel like this was such an um, intense connection that you probably got burnt from it or, you know, vice versa. And so what's happened here is that it may have been really hard. Maybe you've shut yourselves off a bit and put a protective shield around yourself and you're doing it alone, right? And so it's been really tough to perhaps start on a new journey with someone else or open your heart to others around you. You might have become a little closed off and and self-protective, which is okay. But they're saying treasure your loved ones as well. Like really keep your friends and your family close to you. Um, also open your heart if you're doing meditations, tuning into your soulmate twin flame, if you really still hold that love for them, you know, being able to extend that out to them in the spirit, you know, in the astral plane, basically in the 5D, being able to even in dreams meeting up with them. Cause that's what I feel with this as well is that there is an, um, expansion of energy. There's love. There's a giving out of love and look at the hands. Like it's, it's like caressing the love, you know, in your hands, holding the love in your hands. Um, it is important to love others deeply. So it is important to not lose sight of the love that you feel because you've got so much to give. Um, and also I feel that they too, your soulmate or twin flame, um, also have a lot that they're holding it, holding in their heart. Like I feel like you're still in their heart and that there are memories coming through for them. You'll suddenly come out, you know, pop up in their mind. Um, and vice versa, and there's communication, like there's, there's uh, actual conversations you could be having, having with them in your mind, it's that telepathy. Um, I feel like this person wants you to know that you are still in their heart, and they do still have feelings, and they, they do still love you. Now, what's this card here is the, uh, I've got to remember the name of this, Keepers of the Light cards. It says, Facing Fear. So major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So as we saw before, there is this energy shifting. Okay, there's an awakening occurring, a chance for a rebirth, a new path. And um, being able to let the guards down, the wall down basically, and, and extend that love out there and, and face fear, confront the fears that are going on within. Because I do feel like something really did, someone did break your heart and that has left an impact on the way you deal with other relationships now. And this becoming aware of that is a really major thing here to be able to realize that, you know, it's a wasted thing to not be able to share your love with, with either a new person or with your twin flame or soulmate. It's, it's still a wasted thing because there's just so much love in you to give and to share. And that's not just to say, you know, just love anybody and just be careless with that because it is a sacred thing. And I feel like you've become quite a private person and may not necessarily let others in easily. And that's okay. You've got to use discernment as well along the way. Um, but I do see this strength coming in to face the fears and to recognize where and what is actually going on within you and what caused this all, you know, within you. And that um, you have, some of you have recognized where you have, um, perhaps closed off to others or lashed out at others who didn't deserve it or just, yeah, you just haven't been ready within yourselves at this stage. Now, I want to see what the angel card is. The angel therapy or healing with the angels, I should say, is harmony. The, the energy of harmony is coming through. So there is definitely a healing going on, a shift going on within you. There's something you're finally going to be able to let go of, okay? So there's harmony definitely coming through in your connection, but also within your own, um, you know, your, yourself, within your soul, your heart, your heart, soul, and mind, and, and everything. It's, it's all coming through that energy. So you're going to start feeling lighter. You're going to start feeling like you can emerge into the world. Now, regarding a question um, about your twin flame or soulmate, if you've asked a question specifically uh, regarding um, timing and things like that, this one says, only time will tell. 
You know, will you get back together? Will they connect you, connect with you? Will they contact you in the physical? Are they going to pursue you? Should I do this? Should I do that? It says only time will tell. Okay, so at the moment I feel that, yes, it's it's a little bit premature to be jumping into something with this person. It just Baby steps need to be done at this stage because I feel like both parties have been burnt. Both parties are feeling that there's been some pain that they still need to heal and deal with. Um, there will be resolution, as I said before. I feel okay, if you chose the clear courts um, reading, which is reading two, we'll have a look at what's going on for you and with your connection, your soulmate twin flame connection. We've got the good tarot here to start with. And wow, this is a beautiful energy. This is the two of water, which is two of cups. It's the falling in love card. It's, it's compassion. It's harmony. It's just a beautiful flowing energy. Uh, it's very gentle, it's soft, it's just, it's just it's a loving energy. Um, <clears throat> then we've got the six of um, cups here, which would be the psychic tarot for the heart card, which is a six of uh, water and or six of cups. And what's that sh what that is showing is that it's simply love here. There's happy memories regarding this person. I feel like they're thinking of you, you're in, you're in their heart, you're in their mind. There's definitely strong feelings of love here. And fond memories as well so it looks like to me that's the energy that this person is feeling at the moment um you know you'll know whether you're feeling this as well if you're not feeling this completely this would be on the other side they're feeling this towards you um but it can be both mutually as well happening here there's definitely a strong connection i, I feel like a dream world so it could be that you're meeting in dreams as well and you know this is obviously a feeling but it's also on the in the mind where there's happy memories there's feelings of nostalgia um just missing the person it feels like there's a missing each other I've got the greek mythic tarot here which is the six of swords so it shows that there has been you know it could have been some chaotic stuff going on in the past or some painful challenges or you know that kind of thing in the past so it's showing me that this person or yourself there is going to be clarity um and smoother sailing basically that's what this is about like clearer and calmer waters so it feels to me that there might have been a bit of turbulence in the past but there's definitely a healing going on here it feels like just a beautiful energy and yeah, definitely seeing that there is another six here, which is harmony as well. So harmony in the mind, harmony in the heart, and definitely feeling the balance of love. That's amazing. So we've got the whispers of love card for your special message. And this says the heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. So there has been questions for some of you regarding how this person feels. There could be, I feel there's been other issues involved as to why this wasn't able to progress because the feelings are undeniable. There is definite feelings there. There's a strong connection. They miss you. You miss them, that kind of thing. And what I see here is that there's other, um, like what am I saying, circumstances, um, on external circumstances that are getting in the way. So it could be that there has been blockages, there has been financial, um, there could be a distance issue, um, there could be that this person has children or other commitments, you know, um, they might even have something going on around family. It could be religious beliefs. It, it's just, you know, that kind of thing. I feel like there's different um, challenges coming up here. But also, some of you may have already made up your mind but are based on this person and what went down in the past and, and feel like either you're not good enough or they're not good enough. You know, they feel like they're not good enough. Um, so there's been some kind of a... Um, an issue with self-limiting beliefs here on, on both sides here as well, that it just can't work when it actually can. I feel like it can because this is such a strong energy coming through and this is positive here, clarity coming in. Um, being able to realize, oh my God, this person really does love me. Now, this is the Keepers of the Light card. So this is showing Archangel Michael trusting heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Now, for any of the negative belief systems that come through, you know, any negative self-talk or any feelings that come up that are negative, that are blocking the connection, 
you call Archangel Michael to come in with his blue sword of protection and, and also bringing in that courage. Let him cut away between you and this other person the negative cords, okay? If there's anything that's that's getting in the way between the two of you, you need to protect this um, connection, I feel. It feels a little vulnerable at the moment to outside forces. Um, so there could be could be a situation where there's been other people involved. It could be a karmic partner in their life or your life or just family. As I said before, it could be religion. It could be a, that they're a distance away from you. There's just issues why you can't be together at this stage. Now we've got the healing with the angels. Look, guardian angel, I feel like your connection is protected anyway. Call in Archangel Michael to come in and protect the connection I do feel it is con um, it is protected, and we've got the guardian angels surrounding you and surrounding them as well, coming in to help you realize that you're not going crazy. The signs that you've been getting are real. Um, so some of you may have received signs that rec you know that you recognize as being from this person, or it just reminds you of them, and you might think, well, it's just a coincidence. Um, no, it's not. There's no such thing as coincidences, as they say in life. Um, I feel like this is definitely your spirit guides coming in, your deceased loved ones showing you that this is, um, you know, able to be saved. I feel like for some reason a lot of you have thought, no, this can't be saved. It's it's done with now. It's it's all, you know, it's been there and done that. It can't be salvaged. I, I do feel like it can be saved. There's more going on, okay, than what you thought. And it might have been that, you know, for some reason, their circumstances didn't allow them to be with you and you might have blamed them or thought something entirely different to what was actually going on. I feel like there might have been a misinterpretation of something as well as to where they were coming from or it could be vice versa. Um, but it's definitely showing that, you know, this is such a strong feeling here. It's a very strong soulmate twin flame connection um they're thinking of you and i feel like some of them are wanting to plan to come forward to you as well whether it means like you know physically moving um or connecting with you like coming towards you and making contact because it just feels to me that this is not finished with yet this is not this is not done with there's more to um explore together and sometimes things happen where you're not meant to be together you know, you weren't, maybe things weren't working out because you had to go away on your separate paths to learn other lessons in your lives, to grow stronger, to, um, to be able to come back together with all that knowledge, right? And wisdom in your heart and mind. Now, what is your special message from the Lover's Oracle? So we've got look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. There's a very strong self doubt here you know you might doubt yourself or you might doubt this connection or them what are their motives you know you might not trust um so it's saying look inside yourself there's a deeper issue see remember there is more going on than meets the eye recognize what this is all about it's also within yourself so there's something that maybe you have self-sabotaged you know you might have sabotaged this connection subconsciously even out of fear maybe there's something that's happened to you in the past where you just don't really believe you deserve this kind of love and happiness in your life um there are different messages coming through for this particular reading this won't resonate with everybody but this is a significant message that there is something that some people still need to heal need to confront within themselves um need to accept need to love themselves need to know that they're worth this love, you know, that it, they're worthy of receiving this love. Um, there might be some anger or frustration towards other people getting involved, getting in the way, you know, um, that this other person may not have been able to help at the time. Um, yeah, because a strong feeling just feels like there was something inevitable that just you weren't able to be together at that time. It comes down to timing as well. They need to look within themselves as well. It's not just all about you. This is also them. They need to look inside themselves and examine what was causing them to feel certain things and what made them 
choose certain actions or say certain things, you know? This is all a healing and it's a recog like a, a realisation that's come through now. That, oh my God, after all this time, these feelings are still there. So strong. And they're feeling the pull towards you. They're reminded of things as well. There's signs coming along the way in their life as well. Trust, trust heaven. You are safe. This, this connection is safe. The angels are um, standing by and, and looking after this connection, are looking after each of you individually. Okay? So that's food for thought for you guys, and I hope that resonates with you. Okay, if you chose card uh, reading number three, which is the blue chalcedony, crystal um, this is your reading regarding your soulmate twin flame and we've got the good tarot to start with which is the six of fire which would be the six of wands and this speaks of victory and success this is a very positive energy and this is about moving forward positively in life like nothing is in your way there's no obstacles you know this could be for you could be for them could be for the connection um, it's amazing. Now let's have a look at the psychic tarot for the heart card, which is also, um, a strong energy. This is a six of wands as, oh, well, hang on. Six of fire. This is a six of wands as well. Wow. This says believe and succeed. So this, this is the same energy, but double energy. Oh my God. This is pretty special. So this is saying that you're moving forward, right, towards this connection. It feels like you guys are moving towards one another quite fast. There's a lot of um, positive energy behind this. And if you believe in this with all your heart and soul and your mind, you can succeed in this, okay? This relationship can succeed. It's like nothing will stand in the way. When two people really love each other and want to be together, it can be done, there's happiness with this. There's an optimism. There's a moving forward with, you know, this passion. And it's almost like both of you, or at least the other person, because you know where you stand, but the other person has definitely acknowledged the feelings that are within this connection or that how significant this connection is, okay, and has been in their life. So they're acknowledging that within their heart. And their mind. We've got the Greek mythic tarot, which is the emperor energy. Wow, this is pretty strong. This is beautiful. This is pretty strong energy coming through. This is an action card. This is planning and taking action and taking the lead to manifest things in life, okay? And it's about bringing all the elements together. It's about taking on the world, that kind of energy. It feels like that kind of energy of being able to take on the world and just have such positivity in your heart. We've got the lovers, um, whispers of love card here with a special message. Look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. So this, re this reminds me, okay, this, this is telling me that in the past, it wasn't always like this, right? It wasn't always this uh, real positive kind of energy. It feels to me like someone was trying to force something to happen beyond its time or was getting frustrated, but now there's optimism and it's moving forward, okay? It feels like it's flowing energy. Um, there's, there's great passion in this. There's great charisma. It feels like to me that someone has a plan. Someone knows where they're exactly going in life. It says, look at your pattern. So there has been time to reflect, not just for you, but for them as well. This has been a real, um, like a growth. People are growing in this. It's like a spiritual growth. It's lessons to learn. And there's been a lot of lessons to learn in this particular connection. I feel like there's been a lot of challenges um, that have been overcome. And there might have been some stubbornness on someone's side of things here as well, okay? So there's definitely um, perhaps some stubbornness that someone had to change the way they viewed something or perhaps change the way they reacted to something. Um, and it looks to me, or even um, surrendering to their fears and facing their fears and being able to realize, okay, past patterns in my life are not working. I've got to change something within myself. And it feels like that is occurring. That's really good. 
We've got the Keepers of the Light card, which is Saint Germain. Now, this is Karma releasing. This is really interesting. He also holds the Violet Flame for the Twin Flames or Soulmates. Okay, it's mostly Twin Flame stuff here, but it's a very old, you know, the ultimate soulmate, very loving connection, very strong connection. We're looking at Karma releasing Move Beyond Drama. We're moving beyond drama. We're moving forward. Create your own path and make room for good energy. That is exactly what is going on here. I feel like you're both, because we've got the double energy, it looks to me like both of you are on this pathway. And that's really looking good because there's been a transmuting of negative energy into positive energies. There's been lessons learned. There has been a swallowing of pride. Um, you know, swallowing the pride because some people have had ego in the past here with this particular connection. There's been something that's been... Uh, a little bit superficial or shallow, perhaps it's just a way of protecting um, themselves, but I feel like they've now come through that. It feels to me like there's been a shift going on here. They've had to really take a step back and realize, okay, um, I've got to be real with myself, with, with others, with this connection and um, recognize it for what it is now. Um, it's interesting that's coming through so strong. Karma releasing could also be a karmic partner in someone's life, that they're releasing this person for their highest good to go on their own journey so that you guys, you know, can come back together. So whether you're releasing a karmic partner or they are, that's also an aspect of this connection as well. So if there's a third party situation, it looks like they're moving on from that or you could be moving on from that. And yeah, so that's that's amazing too because there are a lot of lessons with karmic partnerships and so that makes a lot of sense as well, that there's been a lot of growth looking at patterns and, and what you've attracted in your life through a karmic partner or vice versa um, to be able to realize and recognize what the pathway is now. You know, it's clearing that path for this path, for this destination, direction, where you're going towards each other. Now we've got the angel, healing with the angels card. Ah, oh, support from the angels, your ascended masters, your spirit guides. Those in the spirit world are supporting this connection. This is amazing. And I'm seeing, I keep looking back at this royal purple, like this royal energy, this royal color here. It's like you guys seriously have a mission to do together. You're like really meant to be together at this time, I feel. And, you know, for those of you who aren't seeing it physically coming together just yet, I feel like definitely in the spirit world, in the 5D, there is a lot going on that you're not realizing at this stage. Um, a lot of energy has been cleared, a lot of intentions being set, a lot of telepathic connection, like it's very strong spiritual connection. You're, you're meeting up in the spirit plane, you're, you're making plans, you're doing things right together. Um, it's just amazing. Very strong telepathic connection, very spiritually connected. I'm amazed, like with all this, the fire, like the violet flame, you know, the flame is the fiery energy and protection and support together with this. It's, it's meant to be. Purple, purple. Once again, a spiritual color. Now, this could also, as I said before, relate to them as well. They've got to look at what lessons they've learned in their relationships as well. Now, I want to see what your Lover's Oracle card is. And it says, Passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. This is so true. You guys have a feeling this passion, the sexual chemistry you know, towards each other. It's fiery energy here. It's passion. It's chemistry. It's amazing. It's moving forward into this connection. I do feel like for a lot of you, there's definitely going to be a physical contact being made um, and it's going to happen faster than you realize. So strong. Like it's such a magnetic attraction that you just cannot resist that. You know, you just can't. <laughs> it's just so strong at this stage and everybody's all for it like it's almost like I hear them say they're ready now they've gone through everything they've had to go through they're ready to reconnect they're ready to connect again 
so amazing. But, you know, it's like that reward coming in through all the blood, sweat and tears that have been, oh, it has not been an easy journey at all for a lot of you. There's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of hurt, you know, lashing out, um, cutting each other off, having to do that because it's such a strong connection. Some of you have had to just cut each other off and just move on with life and, and have no contact at all. And that's been so hurtful, but you've had to do it for your own sanity to be able to move on into other relationships where you had to learn so much about yourselves and about life and about the mission and about what each other actually mean to each other, what you mean to each other. Because there is such a spiritual mission to be doing here together. And they're coming in and surrounding you now. It's beautiful. This passion is so strong. So I feel like, you know, it says around you, you're going to be drawing them in through this passion, this seductive magnetic energy. Um, so I just, yeah, I'd love to hear your feedback as to what's going on with your journey and um, when you hear from them or vice versa. Okay, I hope that's helped you today. Okay, if you chose card uh, reading number four, um, this is the amethyst. Okay, the amethyst crystal got the good tarot card to start with this is what's going on with your connection we've got the ten of water which would be the ten of cups and this is emotional fulfillment it's a beautiful energy it's contentment it's like that good karma coming in also it's just a peaceful happy energy it's beautiful and psychic tarot for the heart card which is take the lead this would be the three of wands which shows that there's you know, so many possibilities or opportunities coming in. What you put out, you receive kind of thing. So it's very much in line with the karmic energy as well. So what you're putting out there, you're receiving. So if you have if you have reached out to your soulmate or twin flame and you've, you know, left a message or made some contact in some way or even not physically but even if it's spiritually through meditation or telepathically, they're going to feel that. And I feel that you're going to hear something back from them, okay? You're going to get something back from them. If you've had a question of should I contact them, will it be received? Well, I feel like this is saying it's okay to do that because you're taking the lead moving forward. There's peace and harmony around that decision. Now, we've got the Greek mythic tarot, which is the Five of Cups. Now, now I understand why there's hesitation perhaps to reach out because there has been a painful past together. There has been a betrayal of some kind. There's sadness, regret, that kind of thing. Even the word guilt comes through. So somebody in the connection has done something wrong to hurt the other one, perhaps has left them, Has uh, perhaps um, there's been cheating, perhaps there's just been a running away. Um, and has left the other person behind when they thought everything was going fine, it was beautiful and wonderful, etc. And we've got this pain coming through and now this distrust. So it's feeling like, okay, this is all beautiful and well and you know, even spiritually I'm feeling this so strong, this energy between the two of you. Um, and this could also be the past of what was shown to be there. Um, but I still feel that's presently right now in the spiritual world, in the you know, spiritual plane, the astral plane that's coming through quite strong, the connection between the two of you. One of you is, you know, well, I actually feel both of you are still leaving the light on for each other. You know, it's definitely still there. The flame is still burning for each other. Um, so it's definitely not, you know, water on, what am I saying? Um, oh, got what I was saying yeah but it's definitely not going to be something where you can't revisit this anymore I feel like there's definitely hope there uh, as well now we've got the whispers of love oracle we've got the be in the present and dream of the future so this you know whether it be yourself or the other person might be living too much in the past as to what's actually happened you know so it's saying be in the present and dream of the future when we dream, everything is possible. This is also telling me that you guys are dreaming together, like you are in each other's dreams. You are visiting each other in the astral plane, okay? There's been astral traveling. There's been tele telepathy. There's been a spiritual, strong connection. Both of you are feeling each other's pain. Um, so it's definitely something that there's healing to be to that needs to be done in this. Be in the present, like visualize yourselves, in the present with vibrant health, okay, and 
imagine everything that you want to happen in this connection. If you want to have, con if you want to have contact, communication, if you want that loving energy to come through, if you want peace, if you want healing, bring it all in. Bring it in. Okay. Some of you might feel like you've lost faith in the future. Perhaps you don't want to dream of the future. Perhaps it's too much at this stage because it's just been too painful. How could it ever possibly be good again? You know, there is a lot of that coming through um, for some of you. What have we got for the Keepers of the Light card here? Odin, psychic insight. Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is and follow your intuition. So a lot of you have been dwelling, but a lot of you also know the truth. Okay, so it's having that psychic insight, being able to visualize what it is you want for the future as well. I feel like you guys are seeing each other in your mind's eye as well. So it, it may be that sometimes some people will feel their loved one right near them. I feel like you're seeing them in your mind's eye, like you might actually see what they're doing in their day. <laughs> you know, it may be that you astral travel and, and at night time and see them in your dreams, obviously, but it's also physically astral traveling and being by their side when they sleep at night. It's just such a, a strong message coming through regarding that. I feel like there's a, especially at night time, there's this real missing each other um, and the need to connect. It's so strong. The psychic insight, don't be afraid to open up to that, okay? Because I feel like it's such a powerful thing within you and you do connect very strongly with this person on that level as well you can do that see the truth for what it is follow your intuition don't believe what everyone else has said along the way because your heart knows the truth and your third eye once it's open if you do a meditation will also start to reveal the truth to you as well now we've got the um healing with the angels card which is emerging so your true self is emerging. One of you is starting to really come out of your shell after having this painful time, okay? So there is going to be a trusting once again in the process, okay? And being able to move forward or step forward to each other. There's almost like a hesitant energy on both sides of whether they want to hear from me or will they receive me right? Is it okay, you know, to, to do that, to make that move? Um, and I feel like there will be some self-confidence coming through with this as well. Peace. I'm getting the peace really strong in this is what you really want to seek through this connection is making amends on either side. They either want to make amends with you or vice versa because that's what this is all about. There's a, a forgiveness coming through in this as well, needing to forgive. Now, what have we got here for this one is the lover's oracle and this oh my god this is healing we've just talked about this i think if i remember it's hard to remember everything i'm channeling through so the healing is imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light feel your relationship being healed this very moment oh my god there is so much healing that needs to be done in this yeah well obviously from this card there's showing that there's been some pain and regrets in the past there's definitely healing coming through um but somebody is really dwelling in the past and sometimes will find themselves going through a cycle of feeling like they're in love with this person and want to move forward and, and let bygones be bygones basically but then when they're in this mode they start to feel and relive all the feelings that came up so they start to feel sad they start to feel angry they start to feel hurt and resentful and all those things and and wonder how could this possibly ever heal and this is like an open wound you know it's like an open wound that just doesn't heal because they're reliving it could be you or them reliving what happened right that's why it's saying be in the present and dream of the future because miracles can happen use your psychic insight visualize it's such a powerful tool to use visualize what it is you want to attract in your life manifest those miracles through using your psychic insight seeing the truth for what it is filtering out the negativity okay and of what others may have told you or what your mind is telling you when you're dwelling on things that may not even be real could be amplified even further 
And so emerging, your true self emerging, your true soul who is in love with this person, you know, it's the love that's really there, the contentment, the peace, the happiness, the forgiving energy coming through for this healing, okay? Because that's where it looks like it's going to be a bit of a healing journey for you guys, um, for yourself, for them. You are on this healing path. And I do feel like there is hope for the future if you can just um, learn to let go of the past, forgive, you know, and heal from this. And this may not necessarily be just you. This might also be, and I feel like it is, that they need to do those things as well. Some of you, and this is only for some of you, not all of you might resonate, but I do feel like some of you have felt that this person was quite callous in how they dealt with things with you and that you feel like they didn't care about you when actually they did. They've come to realize how much you actually did mean to them um, but feel embarrassed and feel like, okay, well, I don't know how to really come forward now and make this better. Um, but I feel like there can be um, communication, you know, to fix that. I do feel like someone needs to come forward and maybe it's you to come forward and say, you know, that was a crap time we went through together and um, I really feel we need healing in this. I forgive you or vice versa, you know, do you forgive me, that kind of thing. So I just feel like there will be an icebreaker along the way. But it's got to first start with the spiritual energy, like with your connecting spiritually in your mind um, and visualizing what it is you want between the two of you, which first starts with this healing energy. There's got to be healing before any, you know, jumping into anything together again, if that is the case. So I hope that has helped you today, guys, and I look forward to connecting with you all next time. Love and blessings.